Dear students, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjaliya Mall Mahalini Engineering College, Koyal I am happy to meet you again through the video lecture series on the subject Engineering Thermodynamics. And this is module number one, Basics of Thermodynamics and Zero Law of Thermodynamics. And this is lecture number five on module one. And we recap from the previous lectures. So in the previous lectures, we discussed about the thermodynamic properties, intensive property, extensive property, pressure, temperature, density, specific volume, uh, specific weight, and uh, specific gravity, various properties we defined. And we discussed about the reversible process, quasi-static process, and the irreversible process. And uh, we, uh, we studied about the zeroth law of thermodynamics and the the property identified using the zero law of thermodynamics is the uh, temperature. And uh, here in this topic, uh, we are going to discuss about various forms of energy, energy transfer by work, uh, point function, path function, and we have to prove that the work is a path function, displacement work, and other form of work. And the learning outcome for the lecture at the end of the lecture, the student will be able to define work and the student will be able to prove that the work is a path function and the student will be able to explain various forms of work and the student will be able to derive the displacement work for various processes. Forms of energy. There are different forms of energy we are familiar with. Uh, such as thermal energy, mechanical energy, kinetic energy, potential energy, electrical energy, magnetic energy, chemical energy, and nuclear energy. And some of the energy we are uh, regularly using in our day to day life, uh, for example, electrical energy, uh, chemical energy, the food to what we are consuming is only chemical energy, and the mechanical power uh, for riding a vehicle, uh, for uh, uh, running some of the uh, operating some of the household appliances and the thermal energy for cooking. So, heat is required for cooking purposes. So, we are familiar with all the energies, all the different forms of energy. And uh, to the point of thermodynamics, for a system, the sum of all the energies are called as total energy of the system. So, a system may contain thermal energy, mechanical energy, kinetic energy, potential energy, electrical energy magnetic energy, chemical energy, nuclear energy, sum of the all the energy of the system is called as total energy of the system and the total energy per unit mass is called as specific energy. So, lower case letter E is specific energy, upper case letter E, it is the uh, total energy of the system. So, small e equal to total energy divided by the mass which is joules per kilogram. And the first form of energy is the potential energy. Uh, we are familiar with the potential energy again. We studied at the school level. The energy possessed by a body, uh, energy possessed by a body or a system by virtue of its height, because of its elevation, result of its elevation from the, in the gravitational field is called as potential energy. So, the potential energy is mg into z. z is the height, m is the mass of the system and g is the acceleration due to gravity and it is measured in joules or newton meter. And kinetic energy, the energy possessed by the system as a result of its motion relative to some reference frame is called as kinetic energy. So, when the object is moving with a certain speed or velocity, then we, we, the object possesses the, the kinetic energy. The kinetic energy, is, kinetic energy is measured as 1 by 2 mv square. So, m is the mass of the system, mass of the body and B is the velocity of the uh, body. And the internal energy, the kinetic energy, potential energy, they are macroscopic uh, type of energy. So, we measure at a macroscopic level. Uh, there are certain energy uh, which are connected to the microscopic level. So, the sum of all the microscopic form of energy is called as internal energy or the, and it is denoted by U. The internal energy is related to the molecular structure and degree of molecular activity. The internal energy per unit mass is called a specific internal energy and the energy transfer by work. So, in uh, 
actually we are in our engineering thermodynamics the the main sources of energy uh, are heat and the work so in this lecture we discuss about the work and the work transfer and in the next lecture we discuss about the heat and the heat transfer and uh, already we defined the engineering thermodynamics so it is the uh, study of energy and its effect on the properties of the surrounding properties of the system so because of the energy transfer what is it, what is the change occurring in the system that is what we are going to study and uh, here one form of energy is the work so work is the basic mode of energy in engineering thermodynamics and uh, we define in uh, two perspective so in mechanics perspective so we studied engineering mechanics in the previous semester so in the mechanics the work is defined as work is energy transfers as energy transfer associated with force acting through the distance so force into distance that is what the work that is what we studied in the engineering mechanics force into distance uh, for example a rising piston rotating shaft electrical wire crossing the system boundary are examples of work transfer in thermodynamics we define work transfer occurring between system and the surrounding so it is a boundary phenomenon so when the uh, energy crosses the boundary it is it is in the form of work or heat so the work transfer it is a boundary phenomena so it is crossing the boundary of the system it is it is it is between the system and the surrounding it is crossing the boundary of the system and we have two method so two way the interaction work is interacting with the system in two way one is the work is given by the system look at the first diagram the arrow that is outward w is outward that is work is done by the system and look at the second diagram the work is done on the system the arrow that is inward so here it is work is done by the system and it is work is done on the system so work is done by the system is accounted as positive and work is done on the system is taken as negative so when this work is done by the system is taken as positive and when the work is done on the system it is taken as negative and the work done during the process uh, between the state 1 and 2 so uh, it, it, it work is done when because of the work done the system properties are changing from 1 and 2 1 to 2 and it is denoted by w12 or simply w so w12 or simply w so unit for work is newton meter or joule so force into distance so newton meter or in joules 1 newton meter equal to 1 joule and in thermodynamics so we are more concerned about the displacement work and displacement work is the a major uh, source of work transfer in engineering thermodynamics and look at the diagram we have a pressure volume diagram and below the pressure volume diagram we have a piston cylinder arrangement the piston is reciprocating inside the cylinder and there is a limit for the piston movement the top limit is uh, this point is the top, top limit and here we have the bottom limit so within the two limits the piston is freely reciprocating between these two and we initially assume that the piston is here at the point 1 where the pressure is P1 and uh, volume is V1 and the pressure we have high pressure air or high pressure fluid gas inside the piston inside the cylinder so which is forcing the piston to move towards the right side so the piston is slowly moving to the right side and it reaches this point so the path traced by the properties uh, the property change pressure and volume is traced by the line 1 to 2 so 1 to 2 is the process path and uh, the piston is slowly moving from point 1 so here it is point 1 to point 2 and this is the uh, line for the process so the so yeah, under this condition under this uh, situation the work done by the process what is the work done by the process so normally the area under the pv diagram so pressure volume diagram area under the pv diagram is the work done and we have to calculate the area under this diagram and here what we do we take a small strip of area da and length dl so the length is dl and the area is da so we take a small uh, strip and we calculate the work done for this small rectangle and then later on we integrate between the limit 1 and 2 and find out the work done that is the uh, simple mathematical technique and uh, look at here all the explanation are given here consider a piston cylinder arrangement with the gas initially at a pressure p1 and volume b1 the system is system initially is in the equilibrium 
the piston moves outward outward right side uh, due to the gas pressure and reaches the final state too which is also a thermodynamic equilibrium state specified by the pressure and pressure p2 and volume v2 the intermediate states also in thermal thermodynamic equilibrium so all the points here between 1 and 2 they are in the thermal equilibrium and if we take the uh, definition let a equal to cross section area of the piston p is the pressure acting on the surface of the piston dl is the infinitesimal distance moved by the piston due to the gas pressure so small distance moved by the piston and the infinitesimal infinitesimal means very small work for a small change in the position infinitesimal work done by the gas on the piston del w equal to f into dl so from mechanics point of view work done equal to force into distance so force is the f is the force acting on the surface of the piston and dl is the small change in the length and this f equal to pressure into area so force equal to pressure into area so p into a into dl and uh, combining a into dl that is what the db so area into change in the length equal to the db change in the volume so the del w equal to p into db and uh, the work done between the state we will obtain the work done total work done for the initial and the final state by integrating between v1 and v2 p into dv and uh, here in this equation there are two variables on the right hand side one is uh, pressure another one is volume so when you know the relationship between pressure and volume we substitute here and we do the integration perform the integration and we can find out the work done and the magnitude of work done is given by the area under the path 1 2 in the pv coordinate the integration can be performed when the path followed during the work transfer is quasi static in thermodynamics this displacement work is also known as pdv work so this is all the equation for the displacement work and it is also called as pdv work and this is the major source of work transfer in engineering thermodynamics and we discuss another concept here in thermodynamics point function and the path function uh, in thermodynamics there are certain properties uh, like pressure volume and temperature they are point function uh, for given state there is only one value for each property for the change of state the thermodynamic property depends on the initial and the final state and do not how the final state is reached so point function and uh, the example you look at this diagram so here this is one so the one is the uh, property pressure p1 volume v1 and here two pressure p2 volume v2 so the two depends on the end point not on how the how the two is reached what is the path followed for for reaching the two it is does not matter it matter is the end point so the property here depends on the point here the property here depends on the point here that is what called as point function and uh, they are exact differential the condition for exact differential are so this is the condition for the exact differential so when you when you when your parameter z is the function of x and y and we claim that z is a exact differential then the first derivative the second derivative so the these two conditions are to be satisfied so the exact differential for the exact differential this condition the second derivative with respect to x and y uh, dou square z by dou x dou y equal to dou square z by dou y dou x so this condition is to be satisfied for exact differential and uh, if it is an exact differential that is point function and if it is a point function then it is a property of the system so all the point function uh, all the parameter which are all point, point function they are the properties of the system and there are certain other quantities in thermodynamics so which are not on the point but it is depending on the path so the thermo in thermodynamics there are certain quantities which cannot be located on a graph by a point but are given by the area under the change of the state points such a quantities are called as path function the examples for the path function are heat and the work they are inexact differential so point functions are exact differential path functions are inexact differential point functions are properties of the system path functions are not properties of the system point function depends on the end point path function depends on the path followed by the system so these are all the some of the uh, differences between path and the point function so we have to prove that work is a path function and we take this diagram 
will take few few seconds and look at the diagram. Okay, there are three, two points, end points, one and two. So, one is the initial point of the process, two is the final point of the process. And the one and two, they are connected by three lines, A, B, C. And we said that the work done in the PV coordinate, the work done in the uh, in a particular process is the area under the PV coordinate. So, area under the PV diagram is the work done. Now, look at the diagram. What is the work done for the process A, area under the the line A. What is the work done for the process B? The area under the line B. What is the work done for the process C? The area under the line C. So the work done, but for the process A, B, C, they are different because they follow a different path. But all the three for all the three processes, the end points are the same. So one and two, they are the same for all the three points. So the end points are the same and the path are different. So, the area under the diagram, area under the curve ABC are different than the work done during the process depends on the path followed by the system, not on the end states. So, look at here, the end states are the same, but the work done are different. So, work done does not depend on the end state, the work done depends on the path followed by the system. So, work is a path function. So, what we prove that work is a path function and not a property of the system. And uh, del W is an inexact or imperfect differential. That is what the work uh, work done. Work done normally we represent we in differential form we write del W. And we stop here. We take a break. Uh, we have a few questions to uh, measure our understanding for the 15 minutes, and uh, we answer a few questions here. And uh, you read work is a boundary phenomena. You say true or false. Take a moment, you write your answer uh, in your paper, piece of paper, and we can verify. Work is a boundary phenomena. The answer is true. So, work is boundary phenomena. It crosses the boundary of the system. Work, work done on the system is dash and by the system is dash. You take a few seconds and write the answer. Work done on the system is negative and work done by the system is positive. That is the answer. And we have four statements here. Which statement is correct? Work is a point function and not property. Work is a path function and not a property. Work is a point function and a property. Work is a path function and a property. Which is correct? We take a moment and think and then select the answer. Uh, yes, the answer is B. Work is a path function and not a property of the system. And we derive the PDV work for various thermodynamic processes. The first, the constant pressure process or isobaric process. And we take the uh, piston cylinder arrangement. And uh, the piston is initially at the point 1, where the pressure is P1, volume is V1. And uh, the uh, pressure is, uh, the piston is reciprocating. Uh, moving towards the right side and it is expanding and it reaches the point 2 after the expansion where the pressure is P2 and volume is V2 and uh, during this process our pressure is constant look at the diagram P1 equal to P2 and the area under this diagram is simple uh, rectangle. So work done during the process so integrate so pressure is a constant so we take it out integrating dV it is V2 minus V1 so P into V2 minus V1 is the P into V2 minus V1 is the work done during the constant pressure process in joules. And constant volume process, so isochoric process or constant volume process, there is no change in the volume. So, we will get a vertical line and when as there is no change in the volume, work done during the process equal to 0. And we take another process where the pressure and the volume, product of pressure and volume is a constant and this is the line. So, we will uh, take PV coordinate. The pressure and the product of P and V is a constant. This is quasi static process. And this process is also called as isothermal process. So, PV equal to constant is also called as isothermal process. And for this process, PV equal to constant. So, we can write the equation for the initial state and the final state. So, P1, V1 equal to P2, V2 equal to constant. And integrating, 
integrating the equation w equal to integral pdv we substitute p from the previous equation here from this equation we find p equal to p on u1 by v and we substitute here and integrate so substituting p equal to p1 u1 by v into dv so p1 u1 is a constant take it outside and integrate uh, v1 to v2 uh, integral dv by v which is p1 u1 logarithmic of v2 by v1 so integrating and substituting the limit p1 u1 logarithmic of v2 by v1 or p1 u1 logarithmic of p1 by p2 so the work done for isothermal process or a process PV equal to constant W equal to P1 U1 logarithmic of V2 by V1 or P1 U1 logarithmic of P1 by P2. Uh, we take uh, the process uh, next to process where PV to the power N equal to constant and this process is called as polytropic process. So PV to the power N equal to constant where N is the polytropic index. And uh, look at this diagram. So a gas uh, is there in the cylinder. Uh, in a, with a free, 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 freely reciprocating piston and the gas is the piston initially the piston is at the this position and it is expanding so moving in the upward direction and the piston expands volume increases and the volume is changing from v1 to v2 and pressure is changing from p1 to p2 so p2 the pressure decreases and volume increases so this is expansion process and during this process PU to, pv to the power n equal to constant Applying this rule for the initial state P1 V1 to the power n and final state P2 V2 to the power n. So P1 V1 to the power n equal to P2 V2 to the power n. So for this process P1 PV to the power n equal to P1 V1 to the power n equal to P2 V2 to the power n equal to constant or P from the taking the first two terms P equal to P1 V1 to the power n divided by V to the power n. And the calculating the work done. Once again, integrating W, V1 by V1 to V2 PDV, uh, substituting P from the previous equation, C into V to the power minus N, and you take C outside is a constant, uh, V to the power integrating, uh, integrating V to the power minus N, that is V to the power minus N plus 1 divided by minus N plus 1 uh, from V1 to V2, and uh, substituting the, uh, substituting C equal to P1 V1 to the power N, and substituting the limit, P1 V1 to the power n divided by 1 minus n into V2 to the power 1 minus n minus V1 to the power 1 minus n and uh, W equal to we take this value inside so this is P2 V2 so P1 V1 to the power n equal to P2 V2 to the power n and here I substitute P2 V2 to the power n into V2 to the power 1 minus n minus P1 V1 to the power n into V1 to the power 1 minus n divided by 1 minus n so it becomes simplifying the numerator it becomes P1 V1 uh, minus p2 v2 divided by n minus 1. So, here 1 minus n is replaced as n minus 1, we get negative side and this is also changed p1 v1 minus p2 v2 divided by n minus 1 or we can take p1 v1 as outside. So, p1 v1 by n minus 1 into 1 minus p2 by p1 to the power n minus 1 by n. So, this is the work done for the polytropic process. W equal to either the this equation p1 v1 minus p2 v2 divided by n minus 1 or W equal to P1 U1 divided by N minus 1 to 1 minus P2 by P1 to the power N minus 1 by N. So, these two expressions are used for calculating work done for the polytropic process. And uh, this is the combination. So, the various process N equal to 0 where pressure is constant, N equal to infinity where the volume is constant and uh, between these two the P1 to the power N equal to constant. All the processes are quasi static n equal to 1, n equal to 2, n equal to 3. We have different n value and you will get the curve like this. So, the expansion curve or compression curve. So, we will get the PV coordinate, line PV coordinate like this. And when n equal to 0, it becomes constant pressure process. When n equal to infinity, it becomes constant volume process. And there is another process where PV to the power gamma is constant, where gamma is called as adiabatic index, which is the ratio of Cp and Cb. Uh, we will discuss for air gamma equal to 1.4 and this process is called as adiabatic process. Uh, for this uh, very, very much similar to the previous uh, derivation n is replaced by gamma. So, p v to the power gamma equal to p 1 v to, v1 to the power gamma equal to p 2 v 2 to the power gamma equal to constant or p equal to p 1 v 1 to the power gamma equal to v 1 to the power gamma and work done integrating the value w is equal to p into dv. So, p is 
P is substituted, substituting P equal to this equation, P1 V1 to the power gamma, integral V1 by V1 to V2, dV by V2 to the power gamma, and performing the integration, uh, the same kind of derivation you have to, uh, you have to write, W equal to P1 V1 to the power gamma into V to the power minus gamma plus 1 divided by minus gamma plus 1 between the limit V1 and V2, and substituting the limit P1 V1 to the power gamma divided by 1 minus gamma into V2 to the power 1 minus gamma minus V1 to the power 1 minus gamma and uh, taking the numerator and uh, taking the value inside the bracket P2 V2 to the power gamma into V2 to the power 1 minus gamma minus P1 V1 to the power gamma V1 to the power 1 minus gamma divided by 1 minus gamma and uh, very much similar to the previous derivation. So this is P1 V1 minus P2 V2 to the power by gamma minus 1 and W equal to P1 V1 by gamma minus 1 into 1 minus P2 by P1 to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma. So, this is the work done for the polytropic process. And in addition to the PDB work or the displacement work, there are other forms of work transfer. One such, one, one such work transfer is the current flow through the electrical resistor. So, when, the, when there is current flow through the electrical resistor, there is work transfer to the system because of the electrical, because of electric current we cause the uh, may be used to drive the uh, motor. The rate of work transfer is called as electrical power W equal to E into I, where E is the voltage potential and I is the current flow. So, electrical work is also considered as is also a work transfer because the electrical power is used for driving a motor or any other home appliances. And uh, the shaft work, the mechanical work, when the motor is running a shaft, uh, when the shaft is rotated by a motor, there is work transfer because the shaft is can rotate a pulley which can raise the weight. The rate of work transfer through the shaft is shaft power is given by W equal to T into omega where T is the torque applied and omega is the angular velocity. And uh, a stirring, water stirrer. So, the water in a container is stirred by a motor or by lowering, by, or by lowering the weight. And there is work transfer into the system. So, when the when you stir the water, it is also work transfer. The work transfer is equal to the work transfer is due to the lowering the weight. And this is called as flow work. When the fluid is flowing through a system, uh, some, some force is required for pushing the fluid, that the work is called as flow work. When the fluid is continuously flowing through a pipeline, the work is required to push the fluid into, into or out of the boundary of the control volume is called as flow work. The flow work is necessary for maintaining a continuous flow through a control volume. The flow work is given by W equal to P into V, where P is the pressure and V is the volume. So, P into V is the flow work. So, the, these are all the other four forms of energy work transfer. So, what is electrical energy crossing the boundary? Second one is the shaft is rotating using a motor and third one is a stirrer which is used for stirring the, uh, which, is, which is driven by the raising or lowering the weight and the flow work. These are the four forms of work. And this is the another uh, uh, important process here, free expansion. So, when you have free expansion, we have a small two compartments. One compartment is filled with the gas, another compartment is vacuum and the system is completely adiabatic. So, there is no, this is completely uh, enclosed and tight, there is no work transfer, it is completely uh, uh, in, insulated. When the system, when the diaphragm is punctured, the gas is expanding into the vacuum space. This is called as free expansion and there is no work done, work done by the system. So, when the gas expands freely uh, for a free expansion, there is no work transfer across the boundary. Work, work transfer is a boundary phenomenon. During the free expansion, there is no work transfer across the boundary of the system. So, this is free expansion process. And we have the reflection spot here. Name the different thermodynamic processes. You take a, a few, few minutes, few seconds time and write down the thermodynamic processes. We will verify the answer. Yes, completed. Okay. So, these are all the answers. If you have written all the five processes, you are good. Isobaric or constant pressure process, isochoric or constant volume process, isothermal or constant temperature process, PV equal to constant, polytrive process PV to the N equal to constant, and adiabatic process PV to the gamma equal to constant. 
and these are all the reference book i used for preparing these slides you can also refer to it for additional information on this topic and if you have any queries or comments on the video you can write to me to my mail id i will sincerely answer thank you for watching thank you